revealed the immense damage that the Flash caused to DC. Remember a year ago when the Flash was supposedly one of the most anticipated features of the season? It seemed that all of Ezra Miller's problems would be behind him, and the film could be a success anchored in the audience's nostalgia for Michael Keaton's Batman and the curiosity to see Sasha Kaye's Supergirl. None of that. The film was a complete box office disaster that made Warner lose a lot of money. Now thanks to Deadline, we know exactly how big a loss the studio took. Released in mid-June, The Flash grossed $108 million at the U.S. box office and $163 million in international markets, including $26 million in China. This gives the film a total of $271 million at the global box office, which leaves it out of the 20 biggest grossing films of 2023. However, not all of a film's box office revenue goes to the distributor. A percentage of it, which varies from 75% in China to 50% in the USA, belongs to the cinema that showed the film. Thus, Warner was able to keep only $115 million of all the box office revenue that The Flash achieved, added to over $50 million in home entertainment and $85 million in TV and streaming sales, and The Flash in total brought $250 million in revenue to Warner. Unfortunately for the studio, the Scarlet Speedster film was simply too expensive, so what it grossed wasn't enough to cover its numerous costs. The production of the film alone cost $200 million, and this in official figures released by the studio, the real price is probably much higher. Add this with another $120 million spent on the marketing campaign and bonuses for the team among other expenses, and you have a total cost of $405 million. Subtracting revenue from the budget results in a total loss of $155 million. This is the second feature that made his studio lose the most money in 2023.